Service members from Camp Limonier Djibouti volunteer their time and services helping students with their English language skills. Between 10 to 15 volunteers come out five nights a week, Sunday through Thursday. Um, we uh, go into the schools, separate it into classrooms, two to three per classroom, and then we uh, discuss topics that either the students want to discuss or we come up with topics on our own just to let the students practice uh, their English language skills and hear some native uh, English language speakers speak. Students and staff are grateful for the support they have received. Today I'm happy because I meet our Americans in, in this school and know more things about English, so I'm happy with this. These activities not only strengthen the partnership between the U.S. and Djibouti, but provide students with an invaluable skill that will broaden their future opportunities. You know, Lemonier and the American Embassy, they provided us over 1,000 books, a library. They come here uh, to support our students in orally and in, in everything. And that this is, uh, it gives us, it doubles the numbers of the schools. Since now, we registered 300 students in this center. This is the biggest and the most populated schools in Balbala. Our major reason for being here is so that we can help uh, build our communication lines between our country and, and the countries out here. And I think that this is one of the best ways to do it. Uh, and it's done by volunteers. It's done by volunteers coming out on their own time and uh, creating that link between the United States and the Djiboutians. 17 students were recognized for completing the English language course with the graduation ceremony at Horst English School. For Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa Public Affairs, I'm Staff Sergeant Sarah Weeks.